It only cost me in total a net of 2,000 bucks and I saved $1,000 the first year. That's State Senator Mike Barrett talking about the photovoltaic panels on the roof of his Lexington home. We have 16 solar panels on a modestly sized suburban roof. Clouds don't mean that the sun don't shine. We generate kilowatt hours on that roof, uh, even on cloudy days. The panels meld in with the roof and the juice travels down a conduit to a high-tech meter out back. This counts the amount of electricity that you are generating. Over the last year, electrical bills have spiraled due to natural gas costs. Barrett decided to lease the panels from a company that assumes all liability and maintenance costs. They basically generate electricity using those panels on my roof and then they sell that electricity to me but at a very favorable rate. Because solar energy cannot be stored, Barrett kept NSTAR as a backup for nights and during rainstorms. But the trade-off during sunny days worked in his favor. If we generate more kilowatt hours than we're about to be billed for that month, we'll start to pile up credits and the utility will owe us money. The savings have been very good for us. Barrett's install in March 2012 took only one day, although it took some time for the system to get up and going. Be prepared for an installation and activation and testing process that could run, I don't know, five months. The savings, especially in summertime, made it all worthwhile. In the summer, uh, bills can go down $100, $200, $300 in a given month. I think it's fantastic. In fact, I think it's the smartest thing I've seen happen to the real estate in our neck of the woods. For Waltham News Watch, this is Chris Wangler.